Welcome fans to another solo edition of The Spread. I am your host Jim Sella in studio with myself. Going to talk some Steeler football with you today, specifically Ladarius Green, the exciting tight end the Steelers signed in the offseason. Green played for the Chargers last year. He hauled in 37 catches for 429 yards and four touchdowns. He did have the starting role in the first four games of the season with Antonio Gates out for a drug suspension, I believe it was, or he could have been hurt. Uh, You never know with Gates. He's in and out of the lineup a lot. But Green played well. Nothing too fancy, but he's a guy who was a good compliment to Antonio Gates. When you're playing behind a Hall of Famer like Gates, it's hard to see the field. And now San Diego did decide to re-sign Gates in the offseason and let Ladarius Green walk away. But I think that has a little bit to do with the loyalty they have towards Gates and the fact that they're completely crazy and they think they actually have a chance to win a Super Bowl right now, even though they never will with Phillip Rivers. But anyway, back to Ladarius Green. Heath Miller retires. Steeler fans say, oh no, what do we do? We need to draft a tight end in the first round. We need to draft a tight end in the second round. We need to get Heath to unretire. We didn't need to do any of that. We have Jesse James, who's an up-and-comer, and we go out and assign Ladarius Green. He's six foot six, 240 pounds, runs a 4.5340 with a 34 and a half inch vertical. Now, this is a guy who can stretch the field at the tight end position. Is he going to go 85 yards like Martavis Bryant did on the outside? No, but he is somebody who will threaten the seam a little bit more than Heath Miller was able to in his past couple seasons. And that's no knock on Heath, but he got older, his knees got banged up a little bit, and he got slower, and he was never the fastest guy to begin with. Again, no knock on Heath. Great player, Steelers all-time great possible Hall of Famer, although I doubt it. There's not a whole lot of tight ends in the Hall of Fame. But Ladarius Green will be a good uh, follow-up act, I guess I want to call him, because you haven't seen him produce at the same rate that Heath Miller did, and he's obviously not the same type of blocker that Heath Miller was, because there's no tight end that is. But I think between Ladarius Green and Jesse James that the Steelers will have a very good one-two punch at the tight end position. Listen, Green has 77 catches for 1,087 yards and seven touchdowns in his career. Yes, that's, what, a three-, four-year career. He was a fourth-round pick in 2012 out of Louisiana Lafayette. I believe the same college Ike Taylor went to, even though I can't believe Ike Taylor was allowed in a college because he can't even spell the word Ike. But, again, beside the point, At Louisiana Lafayette, Green hauled in 149 catches for 2,200 yards and 22 touchdowns in his career. So he is a guy that's put up some production at some level. Not so much at the NFL level, but that's more or less because he hasn't had the chance because he was playing behind Antonio Gates. Now the Steelers offense wants to be more explosive this year. It's going to have Le'Veon Bell back healthy, hopefully. Antonio Brown's back after Vontez Burfecht tried to take him out in that playoff game and break his skull in, I guess, is what he tried to do. D'Angelo Williams will be back from the injury. The issue at left tackle still lingers. Is it Villanueva? Is it Ryan Harris, who the Steelers signed from the Broncos? Who knows? So you might see a little bit of blocking out of the tight ends, at least early in the season, which isn't exactly green strength. But still, no Martavis Bryant. Marcus Wheaton being a eh, maybe good number two receiver. Sammy Coates never really haven't done much in the NFL. So Ladarius Green is a good target. He hasn't had a whole lot of experience, but he's had more than some of these other guys. He offers you an opportunity for a lot of speed at the tight end position, something Pittsburgh hasn't had since I don't even remember when. I don't think we've ever had a tight end as big as Ladarius and as fast as Ladarius. Maybe Eric Green? But I I doubt it. Maybe it's something to do with the the name Green that just screams good tight end in Pittsburgh Steelers. Will the Steelers use the tight end more than they did last year throwing? Maybe. Can Green catch 77 passes for 1,087 yards and 7 touchdowns in this season alone? Maybe. Depends on how many times the Steelers throw the football. They're throwing it at a rate around 62%. 
They might even get as high as 65%, although if they do that, I think that they will start to lose. You need to feature Le'Veon Bell in this offense once he's healthy, but Ladarius Green would be a great compliment. He's somebody that you can get some play action passes going to. He's somebody that will get separation from the linebackers in the middle of the field. He'll be hopefully a reliable third down target if he can keep from dropping too many passes. He's just definitely a whole new dynamic to this offense. Steeler fans and Ben Roethlisberger have been screaming for a tall red zone target. Well, yeah, Martavis Bryant's out. So, again, we're back to having no tall red zone target. Here he is right here. He's a guy who can get to the corner. He's a guy who can go up with that 34.5-inch vertical and get the football and take it away from safeties and corners to try to match up against him. He's a matchup nightmare for most safeties. I mean, there are not a lot of safeties that are as big as this guy or nearly as fast as him. Somebody like Cam Chancellor only comes around once per season, once per team, once per decade. Ladarius Green can definitely, definitely change the way the Steelers' offense operates this year. Hopefully Todd Haley doesn't try to get too cute with him and get some stupid screen passing game going. 15 screens all at once. Not exactly his strength. Yes, he can run with the ball after he catches it, but let the guy use that athleticism to get separation from the linebacker, to get separation from that safety, and to catch the ball in space. Give him some time to run. Now, the scary part is he is out of OTAs right now. He had ankle surgery in the offseason. He had an ankle injury last year with San Diego. The Steelers knew that his ankle was hurt before they signed him, so they're not extremely worried about it. But he is out of organized team activities. The team says they expect him to participate in training camp. Now, that's not saying that he'll be ready for the start of training camp. That's just saying that they expect him to participate in training camp. He could take one snap on the last day, and they're still right technically there. So that is slightly alarming, or maybe not alarming. That, might, that word might be too strong, but it is a little worrisome. Ladarius said, I just want to see if I can prove it to myself that I can go out there and be the best. That is a direct quote from Ladarius Green. I think he'll be a good fit for Pittsburgh. He's already supposedly building a good rapport with Roethlisberger off the field. He's in the meetings already. He, he's watching game film with Roethlisberger. They, they talk regularly. They've kept in touch ever since the Steelers signed him. I believe Big Ben was one of the first players to contact Green after the Steelers signed him. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. But Roethlisberger's a savvy veteran. He knows how to get these guys acclimated to the offense. He knows how to make them feel comfortable. And he knows how to take advantage of his weapons. And Green can definitely be a weapon for him this season. Hopefully the Steelers use him right. We've had a good tight end with Heath Miller all these years. I think Heath's best year was maybe 77 catches, 78 catches, something like that. He did have over 1,000 yards once, maybe twice. Do I expect Green to go over 1,000 yards this year? Probably not. Do I expect to see maybe 700 yards out of Green and 400 yards out of Jesse James? Maybe. That, that wouldn't be out of the realm of possibilities. Combined between James and Green, you could easily see 85 to 90 catches and 1,000 yards and I'd say 10 touchdowns between the two of them. you got to remember, no more Tavis Bryant. The big play isn't going to be there as much. The Steelers are going to have to work it down the field a little better, and they're going to have to be better in the red zone which leads to more opportunities for a guy like Green who can use that big body and that big size to just shield defenders. He can basically run straight and just turn around, and if him and Roethlisberger have good timing, Ben throws the ball before he even turns around, boom, it's right there. There's not really too much any defenders can do with Green's size. So let's hope he can play as well as he showed he could in San Diego. Let's hope that ankle can stay healthy or get healthy before it can stay healthy, I guess. And let's just hope that the Pittsburgh Steelers can have a good season and try to keep all their stars on the field. I think Roethlisberger, Brown, and Bell might have played a, a total of 50-something snaps together last year. If we can keep all the stars on there on offense, we can definitely win this division and compete for a Super Bowl. Fans, let me know what you think. Hit us up on Twitter at bet underscore the spread. Hit me up on Twitter at bet Jim the win. Check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash bet the spread. A lot of fun stuff there. Keep coming back to YouTube and clicking subscribe. Everybody loves the spread. Everybody loves the Steelers. And hopefully Ladarius Green loves the field.